With the latest firmware update for the Mavic 3 and Mavic 3 Classic, DJI have added support for waypoints. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what you can do with it and how to use it so that you can head out and give this awesome new feature a try. Let's jump right in. So what are waypoints and why would you use them? Well, to put it very simply, waypoints allow the drone to automatically fly along a predetermined path that you can set up beforehand, and this is repeatable meaning the drone can fly the exact same route automatically over and over again, even at different times of the year. And this can allow you to do some really creative things such as getting the exact same type of video, doing the exact same path, but at different seasons of the year to show the differences. Or to track change or progress during a development, for example, at different times of the year. So let me give you a quick demonstration and then I will show you the two ways that you can set up a waypoint path and how to use it. So I'm standing next to a river here and on my map, I've set up a little waypoint route to fly along this river. Now at the start of this path, I've got it set so that the drone will start recording. And then after it flies along the river, at the end of the path I've set, I've got it set to stop recording. Now what I'm gonna do now is hit go and I have no hands on the controller joysticks. I'm not controlling this drone in any way. But as you can see, the drone is now moving into position to waypoint number one. Now, once it gets into position at waypoint number one, you'll just see there that it has started recording. And now it's starting to fly the path I have set along this river. Again, I'm not controlling the drone in any way. It's flying this route automatically. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna speed this video up a bit just so you can see it fly along the path. And now that it's getting towards the end, you can see that as it comes to a stop, it's going to stop recording because I have the last waypoint set to stop recording. And then it's gonna automatically return home back to me. So you can see how powerful this can be. And again, if I wanted the drone to fly the exact same route, I can just hit go and it will go back to waypoint number one and fly that exact same path again. Okay, so let's now take a look at the two ways you can set up a waypoint mission. And the first method uses the map. And the best thing about this method is you can set up a mission from the comfort of your own home. You don't need to be out on location. And then when you do get out on location, you can simply load up that mission and have the drone go fly it. So with the controller and drone turned on, the first thing we want to do is expand our maps. And we do this by tapping on the bottom left of the screen. And what you want to do is you want to move the maps around until you get it centered on the location where you're going to be going with your drone to do your waypoint mission. Now with this map view, you can change it to a satellite view if you want. And you can do that by tapping this icon here and selecting satellite. Or if you just like the standard maps, you can change it back by selecting standard. Now to get into the waypoint setup menu, you want to tap this new icon on the left side of the screen and this will enable waypoints mode. Now the first thing we'll take a look at in this waypoints menu is the global settings. So these are things like the speed at which your drone will fly on its waypoint mission. And you can access these global settings by tapping these three dots on the right side of the waypoints menu. The first option you'll see is the global speed. So as mentioned, you can slide this slider right or left to change the speed at which your drone will fly the waypoint mission. Then you have an option to choose what happens at the end of the waypoint mission. So once your drone gets to the last waypoint, you can have it hover, return to home, land, or go back to the start. So go back to the first waypoint. You can also select what happens if the signal gets lost. You can have the drone return to home, you can have it hover, you can have it land, or you can have it continue on its waypoint mission. And then you have an option to choose the start point. So if you have multiple waypoints in your mission, you can choose a different waypoint other than the first waypoint for the drone to start at. To go back, you just tap this back arrow on the left side here. So now let's look at how to add waypoints to your waypoint mission. So I'm going to be recreating the mission you saw at the start of the video by having the drone start at this little bridge and fly along the river. So let's put our first waypoint right on top of the bridge and we do that just by tapping where we want to put our waypoint. And you can see that our first waypoint has been added. Now if you accidentally add a waypoint, so let's say I tapped over here by accident, and added this second waypoint, which is not where I want it to be at all. You can delete a waypoint simply by tapping on the waypoint you want to remove. And then 
tapping the bin icon on the left side of the screen and you will get a prompt to say are you sure you want to delete the waypoint and just tap delete and that will remove that waypoint. You can also move waypoints that have already been added. So let's say I'm adding a second waypoint along the river but I tap slightly in the wrong area. Well I can actually move that second waypoint to where I want it to be or move its position by just tapping and holding on that waypoint and then dragging its position to where I want it to be. Now each of these waypoints also has settings which allow you to do actions such as start or stop recording and change things like the height of the drone for that waypoint, the gimbal angle, where it's facing, etc. To change these settings you can either tap the numbered waypoints along the bottom of the screen or you can tap the waypoint itself on the map. So let's tap the first waypoint. Now in here the first option you'll see is camera action and you can have it do things like take a photo, start recording or stop recording. So for our first waypoint we will actually have it start recording. The next option is altitude and again by sliding a slider right you can increase altitude and by sliding it left you can decrease the altitude that the drone will be at for that waypoint. For speed you can set it to use the global speed we set in our global settings or you can actually set a custom speed for each waypoint. For heading, you can have it follow course. You can have a manual heading, which is where you adjust it using the joysticks as the drone is flying its waypoint mission. Or you can have it set to custom. And then again, by using this slider, you can change the heading of the drone at that waypoint. But for this mission, I'm just gonna have it follow course. You can also set the gimbal tilt again by dragging this slider left or right. And you can also control the zoom at that waypoint. You can either again have it set to manual where you control the zoom manually during the waypoint mission or you can actually have the drone automatically control its zoom as it's flying the waypoint mission. And lastly you can also choose if you want your drone to pause and hover in place at a waypoint for a predetermined length of time and you can do that by dragging this slider up or down. Now on each waypoint marker you'll see these little triangles that are positioned around the waypoint marker itself. And what this represents is where your drone will be pointed while it's flying this waypoint mission. So because we have it set to point along the path the drone is following, then you'll see these little triangles on the waypoint markers are pointed in the direction the drone will be flying. But if I change the heading of this waypoint from follow course to custom and start to change the heading, you can see this triangle moves around that waypoint marker to signify the heading the drone will be pointed. So what I'm gonna do now is just add a few more waypoints along this river so that the drone will fly along this river. Now as I add these waypoints, what you'll notice is that the path that's being mapped out actually curves nice and smoothly between the waypoints. So instead of the drone getting to a waypoint and doing a harsh turn to the next one, the drone will actually fly a smooth path between these waypoints. And this gets mapped out automatically. So as I put the final waypoint at the end of this river now, I want the drone to actually stop recording and return to home when it gets to this last waypoint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap this last waypoint and under camera action, I'm going to set it to stop recording. And because in our global settings, I have it set to return to home at the end of the flight. Once it's stopped recording, the drone will automatically return to home. Now, once you've got your mission completed and you're happy with it and you want to save it, you do that by tapping this little icon here on the left side and then press save. And then if you select save as, you will see that your waypoint mission has just been saved and you can rename this waypoint mission to be whatever you want. So to do that, you tap the pen icon next to the waypoint mission name and then you can simply rename the mission to be whatever you want. I'm gonna call this mission fly along the river and then just hit the tick icon on the bottom right of the screen. If you want to delete one of the missions that you've saved, you simply swipe from right to left on top of the mission that you want to delete until you see the red bin icon appear and then simply tap that icon and confirm by tapping delete on the prompt. And now when you're out on location and you want to load that mission up, you simply tap the icon on the left side of the waypoint menu again, you select the mission you want to load and the mission will automatically get loaded up for you. And then if you want the drone to fly the mission, you simply tap the three white dots on the right side and then hit go. And the drone will move into position at the first waypoint and start flying the mission. And at any time you can pause or stop the waypoint mission by tapping the pause icon here. 
Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is point of interest markers. So this allows you to set a path for your drone to fly, but as the drone is flying along that path, it will remain pointed at a point of interest at all times. So how do we do that? Well, let's say we want our point of interest to be this little bridge in the center of the river here. So now that we have the path set, if you take a look at the triangles on each waypoint marker, you will notice that it's set to follow the path. They are not pointed towards that little bridge. So how do we get the drone to point towards that bridge or your point of interest at all times while it's flying a waypoint mission? Well, to do that, you actually wanna tap across to the POI menu by tapping this button here. And then when you tap the screen, instead of placing a waypoint marker, you will be placing a point of interest marker. So I'm gonna tap on the little bridge because again, I want that to be my point of interest. And then if you tap into your POI marker, you can see we can change the altitude. So you want to set this to be the altitude of your point of interest. Now this bridge is on the ground, so I'm just gonna set the altitude to be zero meters. But if you wanted your point of interest to be something that's higher, for example, such as focusing on the top of a tall building, then you could increase this altitude. So now I'm gonna tap back. You can see that the triangles on the waypoint marker signifying where the drone is pointing towards still aren't pointing towards that point of interest. To make them all point towards the point of interest, tap the first waypoint marker, go to the heading option, and then change this to be face POI. It will give you a prompt saying aircraft heading and gimbal tilt at selected waypoint will be automatically adjusted to face POI continue. You want to tap OK. And you can see this is now set that first waypoint to point towards the point of interest. But if you want your drone to point towards your point of interest at all times during a waypoint mission, you then want to tap the apply to all option here on the right side of the screen and hit OK. And you can see that all the waypoints are now facing towards the point of interest at all times during this mission. Now there's a second way that you can set up a waypoint flight path, and that's to do it with the drone in the air and to move the drone into the positions you want it to go to and mark the points instead of setting the flight path beforehand. Now this can be really useful for being more precise. For example, if I wanted the drone to get a particular angle of this bridge that's next to me, for example, that might be quite hard to do on the map beforehand. But with a second method, I can put the drone into position, frame it up exactly how I want it, and then log that waypoint. So let me show you how to do that now. Okay, so with the drone in there, the first thing you want to do is enable waypoint mode, again by tapping the waypoint icon on the left side of the screen. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fly my drone into position. So let's say I want to get a nice angle off this bridge. I'm gonna frame it up exactly how I want it. And then once you're happy with the height, the angle, how everything is framed up, and you want this to be your first waypoint, you simply tap the C1 button on the back of the controller. Now, when you do that, you'll see the first waypoint is added to your waypoint mission. So now let's move the drone. I'm just going to move it to another point along the river. Again, I'm gonna get it so that I'm happy with how everything looks. And then if I want to log this as the second waypoint, again, I just press the C1 button on the controller and you can see the second waypoint has been added. I'll show you again for a third. So I'm gonna fly it along the river slightly further. And again, I'm happy with that. So I want to log this as my third waypoint. So I'm gonna tap the C1 button. And this is all you do. You fly your drone into certain positions that you want for your waypoint mission. And once you're happy, you just tap the C1 button. So as mentioned, this is much more useful for being more precise. Looking at this angle I've got of the bridge here, this top down with the bridge directly in the center of the screen, that would be quite hard to configure on a map before coming out to location. But when you're at location, you can quite easily and accurately set this as a waypoint and be super precise using this second method. Now, just because you've added these waypoints using the C1 button method, doesn't mean you can't go in and change them after the fact. So for example, for the first waypoint, I can go in and I can tap this and I can set the camera action to be start recording, for example. But I can also go in and change things like the altitude, the heading, the gimbal tilt, and I can also reposition the markers after the fact as well. So if I go into the map and take a look at the second point, for example, and I want to move it slightly, I can tap and hold in the second point and I can move its position. 
You can also set your POI or point of interest using this method. So again, once you have your drone in possession, you simply tap across to the POI section of the waypoints menu, and then you tap the C1 button, and you will see a point of interest gets added. Now, the only thing to note about this is the point of interest will not be saved as the location or angle or subject your drone is pointed at. When you press the C1 button, your point of interest will be logged as where your drone is currently at and its height. So for example, I've just hit the C1 button and instead of it being this bridge, you can actually see the point of interest if I move the drone back and out of the way has been marked as where the drone was at when I tapped that C1 button. The last thing I wanted to test and I thought would be super useful to know was what would happen if the Mavic 3 or Mavic 3 Classic encountered an obstacle while flying a waypoint mission in either break or bypass mode. So to test this, I set up a really quick waypoint mission. I put one point in front of the bridge, one point behind the bridge and had the altitude set so that the drone would encounter the bridge during this mission. Now with obstacle avoidance set to break, when I hit go on this mission and the drone came across the bridge, it simply stopped the waypoint mission altogether. So this is good to know if your drone encounters an obstacle while flying a waypoint mission, it will still stop itself and the mission will stop. Then when I put the drone into bypass obstacle avoidance mode and ran the same mission again, when the drone came across the bridge and detected the obstacle, it actually just stopped. It didn't fly around or it didn't bypass the obstacle. It actually just said that there was an obstacle detected and it stopped the mission again. So regardless of your obstacle avoidance mode, bypass or break mode, whenever your drone encounters an obstacle, the waypoint mission will stop and your drone will just come to a hover. So hopefully now you know exactly what waypoints is and how to use it with the Mavic 3 and Mavic 3 Classic. Now before you go, if you liked this video and you learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things drones and want to know how to get more cinematic videos and better photos with your drone, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. Make sure that notification bell is checked so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you want to stick around and see a few more of them now, here's a few I personally recommend. And I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.